All right, we're back here um, with Chief. And you'll hear in the background, I've got a, we're at all phases of puppies here. We've got Chief, who is very much a puppy at 11 months old. We've got a little half brother to him in the backyard who is eight weeks old tomorrow. And you'll hear him just hollering and screaming. He's in his outdoor little pen. We separated from his sister. His sister went home with Ben. We're doing another series on that. So um, a little bit of distractions for him. He's going to hear that. We're going to have him work through it. I thought about um, Chief because the last few days he's been here. He's only going to be here a couple more days. Um, sit down. And I, I really like him. I really liking what I'm seeing. There are moments where I go, man, that's really, really nice. And then there's moments where um, there are things that I'm, ah, 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 I'm not as impressed with. I think a lot of it has to do with what he's been exposed to. Um, I think that, you know, the, my son has done a really nice job sit, with a lot of the, the basics. We talked about this in the earlier, and I don't know how many have we actually filmed formally just one, so this is the second one. This is only the third day of his training, quote unquote, with me, but today's Wednesday, we filmed on Monday. Um, yesterday, we rained all day long. We didn't get out in the rain. Um, I did go out with him, and I went out with Lillian last night, and we, we, worked as a, we worked him in a group with mine, sit. So I can tell the amount of patience that is required of him at this point. Now, I also gotta keep in mind, he's less than a year old. But I'm sure my son does not go much further with asking him to sit quietly and wait for long periods of time. He does pretty good for short periods of time, but he's, he's a busy body. He's got to keep his feet moving. He wants to do something different. He gets up. So one of the things that I think we can get better at is just slowly extending his focus. I probably was on Monday a little bit, um, and it was based on some of the stuff we did over the weekend. I was a little spoiled thinking, we're just gonna cruise with them. I opened up some, um, exposed some holes. I was talking about people training. Where do you start? You start in the beginning. Where do you start with an older dog? In the beginning, but you probably accelerate a little bit quicker. With him, I think, you know, he's a little bit older, we can accelerate a little quicker. He's really good at some basic stuff. And so I thought, well, this is great. We're just gonna, it's gonna be like Callie. Callie came in so far advanced at, at about this age, um, further ahead than what he is in some regards not as far in some other regards. So as a trainer, it helps me to work with dogs like this because I gotta figure out where, it forces me to figure out where's the strengths, where's the weaknesses, where's the holes, how do you fill them in? I would love to go ahead and start running them on some longer doubles, some longer memories, um, maybe send them on a blind, a short, simple blind. No, not a chance. Um, we've seen them, I've seen them blink on dummies. Um, part of it, I think, is just simply because he's not picked these types of dummies up before, and that was challenging for him. I talked about it last time. I wanted to put a feather in his mouth. I don't know that we'll get there yet, but I've got it with me in case we do. So I'm just doing things now to try to fill in or figure out where I need to fill in holes. His heel work is good on lead. We've showed that. His heel work is pretty good off lead in controlled spots, not very good in distracting spots. His patience at times is good but this is probably pushing his ability. Last night, his steadiness is pretty good at times. Uh, last night I made retrieves as a group. We threw dummies. He had to watch a couple dogs make retrieves. Sometimes he looked like he's been doing this forever and he was really good with it. Sometimes he broke. I didn't get on him much for breaking because I realized I don't think he's ever worked in a group before anyway. So most dogs that don't have the experience of working in very formal situations, would struggle. So this is why I say Mason's done a really nice, this isn't just natural to him. Mason's done a nice job of building this in. What isn't natural to him is when we start taking the next steps with stuff. And I've thought about it hard the last couple of days because I went, we have such a short window. How can I get more done quicker? And then I was reminded by myself to say, what would make this any different than any other dog you train? There's not a single dog that I think I can rush forward in training. It's not my style. Can you do it? Can some trainers do it? I think so. I think some trainers can fit dogs into, you know, some trainers would drool at the idea of having Chief come to them and say, look what, look what I could do with him in the next three months or month. And to be honest with you, 
I, I'm not that, I'm not that trainer. Because I will take longer to get them where I want them. Because that's how I know how to get them there. And that's how I think he likes getting there. He's a relatively soft dog. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on the dog. When he doesn't do well, we're just gonna figure out how come and we're gonna work on it. And I'm gonna take steps back. So we're slowing down with him here and we're gonna see how it goes. Um, it's just, we're not gonna get that far in the big picture with Mace, with his dog. But I'm gonna hopefully send him back here with some more information. Now, I'm going a little bit formal here. One of the things I did yesterday in that rain was I literally just tried to get the dog to make a little more energetic retrieve for me. So I'm slowing it back down, see how he does. If he, if he blinks, if he shows a little disinterest, I'll treat him like a little more like a puppy. I'll get a little more exciting and we'll just kind of play some catch. I'll, I'll allow a little bit more sloppiness. I'll allow a little more breaking. I'm just gonna see how this goes. This is how I don't come into this with a set. I know this dog after three days and this is the stuff we need to do because I don't have programs that follow steps that way. I don't have a program. I look at each dog individually and we're just gonna try to kind of move forward with them. So, Chief, good boy. Good boy, come on. Good, come on, good boy, come on, good, right here. He's done a nice little job of hold, good, hold there, that a boy, good. This is kind of slow and boring for him, I think, good, did, but he's happy to do it, good job, good job, good boy, all right, good. heel, come on. Nice little heel work on here, off lead, let's see how he does on the grass. Good, come on, good, come on, good boy. So guys, we're gonna spin around, we'll go back to the grass here and just kinda do what we did a couple days ago. Heel, good, good, good. Sit, good, sit, good, heel. Another thing too is it's real wet. And I almost wonder if, does he have a little bit of an issue picking up a wet dummy? I think it's a mental thing, if anything. I mean, does he have to? Yeah, eventually he has to. Come on. But I better get him comfortable in this stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, sir. No, sir. Heel. Heel. Go ahead, come on. Good boy. Ready? Go ahead. Different thing. I'm gonna work on heel work with him later. Good, ready? Here, heel. Good. So I'm gonna work on a variety of dummies with him too. Chief. Good boy. That a boy. That's it, good boy, come on. Little hesitation there, that's a good boy. Come on, come on there. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy, come here. I do think that that water is part of it. I don't think he likes it. Big press, come here, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy, good hold. Good, dead, dead. So, that was good, got past that. I, I think there was a little hesitation on his part. I never really thought about it, but it had those ducks there. Um, we dug those out last night, Lillian and I. You guys got boots on, right? We're gonna get wet. Cause I think I want him to get over some of this hesitation and, and, uh, and make this a little more exciting for him in these conditions. So we're just gonna, we're not gonna walk around puddles, we're gonna walk through puddles. We're gonna go to areas that, I like how he picked him up right next to the decoys. He's never seen decoys before. That could have been something he blinked at. And it, it could have been a factor. And he got through it, so that's why I was real happy with it. This is a, one of my old mowed trails that I like to train on. We're gonna go a little more energy because we're gonna pump him up a little bit for this. And I'm not gonna be so concerned about steadiness. I just want him to go and have fun and build that fire a little bit hotter. Good boy, ready, 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 and there, sit. 
don't know if you saw his body language. Just pick up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready? 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 Sit. Sit. Good. Chief. That a boy. Good boy. That's it. Come on, bud. That's it. Come on. Not the best hold. Come on. That's it. Come on. Good boy. Come here. Good. Right here. Good. Good. Hold. Good boy. Good boy. Just put it back for him. Put it back in the right spot. Good. Good. Dead. I'm leaving the adjustable leader collar on him. Here. 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 Don't know if I need it, but if I do, I've got it. So I can always come over here and get a hold of him and bring him back in. Ready? Watch. Watch. Wah, ah, 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 ah. Come here. Good. Good. He can take that pressure. Chief. Fires out a lot harder now. Got a boy. Got a boy. Hunt it up there. Got a boy. That's a good boy. Come on. Come on. I want to get him coming back a little harder. That's it. Come on. Good. That's it. Good. The quicker he comes in, the less likely he is to drop, I feel. Good boy. The better hold he's got. That's it, then. Good. 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 Watch. Watch. Chief. And a boy. Good boy. That's it. Come on. Come on. That's it. Good dog. Right here. So you can see just a little bit better pace. Good. Here, 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 here. Get past that camera. Come on. 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 Good. Right here. Come on. Good. Good. Hold. No, 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 no. Hold, bud. Good. Good. Along that tail's wagging. Good. Now, dead. If he were to kind of take a step back as far as his energy, if his tail kind of stiffened up, if he got a little timid at that, no, 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 then I wouldn't do it. But he's like kind of in this space where he's in the middle. Like, he really knows what he's doing, and it's a lot of it is really natural. And then he doesn't know what he's doing, and he's kind of ignorant. So he's somewhere in the middle there floating. So my read on it is figure out when to correct and have it have value. If I said, if the dog spits it out, you got to tell him no. You got to understand that's not acceptable. He's also got to understand what is acceptable. So you got to tell him good. With him, if he doesn't take the pressure of me saying no, 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 I don't want to screw with this and, and risk the idea of him not doing well out here. Come here. And take away from the drill. Now, I'm going to pitch a different dummy. Watch. Yep. Yeah. Good. So we put a little bit of a change in this and we say, now you got to actually pay a little bit of attention. We're dialing you in a little bit more discipline. Heel. Yeah. Good. I'm going to speed this up. Watch. Cheap. Goes a little early, but that's okay. I like his enthusiasm. Good. Good boy. New dummy. That a boy. Come on. That a boy. Good job. Now I want you to hold. Come on. Good. Good. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Get under him. Good. Dead. And I just thought, so a lot of the stuff I'm saying is not for the dog. It would be better if I wasn't saying it. It's for you guys. So a lot of the times I'm saying, that a boy, good dog. I'm thinking it as much for you as it is him. So I'm gonna try to remind myself of that a little bit. I notice that stuff a lot when I watch video. My, my talking is, I'm just a little louder on camera. When I train, and I notice it when I'm out walking my dogs, after 25, 30 minutes of working with them as a group and realizing I haven't said anything the whole time, I look at that and I go, man, that's, people do need to understand this. There's a difference between doing it on camera and difference in doing it in person. So I have to remind myself, sh shut up when the camera's running. I know it makes for a much boring, much more boring session. Good. And keep high pace with them. Again, I would never say anything like this if it were just me and him. I'm gonna have him cross this water. See how we just did that? Good. And a boy. Come on, come on, come on, bring it here. That a boy, come on. I turned my back on him. Here, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
Good boy, come on. Good boy. Good. Good, right here. That a boy. Good, dead. Good, that's it. Good boy. Good, ready? Good. Good. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keith. Good boy. That's it. That's it. Good boy. Good. Right here. Right here. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. That's it. Good boy. Dead. Good. 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 Heel. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Not. Good heel. Good. That a boy. Heel. Two. Good boy. That's it. And a boy, come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. So he wants to go back to the path. I did that on purpose. Here, here, and a boy. Come on. Good. Threw it off the path. Good. That's it. Now I'm gonna let him think for a second. Sit. Sit. The big thing that was different on that one was I was trying to land it closer to that apple tree actually and get it into cover. I wanted him to not see it. I wanted him to have to use his nose. Sit. I wanted this to be a game of hunt a little bit. So I'm looking, the cover right now isn't good, but um, we're gonna take him, I'm gonna br break from this little session of work. I'm gonna have him focus on something different. Just pay attention to heel. I'm gonna bring him over to one of those clumps and let him hunt this little hill that I have of cover over there. So let's walk over there. But the reason I want him, I, I use these mowed strips. I mean, it's hard to see this as a mowed strip, but you can tell he knew it was a mowed strip because he got his he got his dummy and he went back to the strip and then came back to me, path of least resistance. So I want him to start realizing the dummies aren't always in the straight lines either. And so <clears throat> why I was so excited when he picked that one up, for him verbally gave him a lot of praise, was the idea of that's a really easy dummy he could have blinked on. <clears throat> he could have, you know, the other thing I could do is I could go right into that cover. Let's do that. Let's try one right into this cover. So there's a nice little pocket that kind of goes in. There's some kind of tall grass. I'm going to pitch a dummy in there. And I got a feeling he'll, yeah, he'll hunt short. And my hope is that he gets to push into it. So to start it out, the best way for me to get, ensure that, let's try it and see what he does. So my, I want to show you this maybe as an, opportunity to kind of show you what could go wrong. So I could throw it in there, he could go to hit that cover and as soon as he gets into that tree line, he could he's gonna probably break down to hunt. He's probably, knowing him, he'll probably hunt short. So my, at that point I gotta encourage him to stick with it, stick with it, stick with it, find it, pull it out of that cover, come out and then find me. The way to avoid that risk of it not happening would be first walk him in there, pitch the dummy, heel him back out, send him in. It's a lot simpler than 
doing it from a distance here, but let's just see, because maybe he does it well, and that would be great. Watch. Chief. Maybe he struggles, and then we show you how we get over that. Hey, a boy. Good dog. That's it. Good boy. Come on. Atta boy. Come here. Good. Right here. Good. Good dog. Dead. Dead. Good dog. Good. Let's do it again. Here. I'm not going to be real time. I'm not going to take a ton of time on this for steadiness. Chief. I'm really happy with how he's hunting into that cover. He actually got more energy. Atta boy. That a boy. That was more fun for him. Got a boy right here. Come here. Let's do that again. I like what I saw there. So I expected the opposite. He showed me a lot different. He showed me more enthusiasm to punch into cover than anything. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Heel. Oh, ah, da, 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 of course. Well, you don't get reward for the break there. So what I'm gonna do is let him hunt, let him hunt, let him hunt. Slip one in behind him. That a boy! That's it! Good boy, come on. That a boy, right here. Good. That boy, hold, hold, good, hold, hold, good, dead. Sit. Yeah, it's stuck in a tree. Sit. So I snuck that second one in there. Now, didn't plan on it. Gives me a chance to come in here, work on a little bit of remote steadiness. Let's build the fire a little bit hotter. He watches me go in here and goes, what are you doing? I really want to be there. Look at his ears right now. He really wants to be with me. Good. So this is a little more challenging game for him, and he's, he's doing better with it than he is with the old boring one. So this one, I'm gonna take it in here and tuck it in. Let's let him dig one out. That a boy, good. Again, I'm a little bit more of a cheerleader today than anything. A lot of rah rah, a lot of. I'm just exploring with them, just figuring out what you can and can't do well. Good, heel, heel. Let's really challenge this one. Let's back up a little bit. And we'll push you in there. This is like almost like an unseen because I don't know if he saw it or not. Good. Ready? Ready? We're going to get him a watch cue, which he likes to break on, so I got a hold of this. Watch. Watch. Ah, just take it easy, big guy. Watch. Chief. Now, he didn't see a dummy go in there. He's going in off of trust. He's believing me. He's going to have to dig it out. Atta boy, good look, good boy. Loss, loss, loss in there, good boy. That's a good dog, that's a good dog. Good boy, come on, that a boy, come on. That's it, come on, bring it right over here. That a boy, hold it, hold, hold, dead. So, very happy with it. God boy. And what I'm happy with is seeing that like come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want him getting the freedom to go all of a sudden I'm gonna go mark stuff. I'm gonna go no no no. You're with me, guy. So I'll we'll take a deep breath. And I'm kind of excited. I'm pretty happy. I'm looking at this and going, you know what? My approach with it was wrong on Monday. Probably a little bit too um, regulated. Probably a little bit too um, unsure of really what I had here. And set stuff up kind of poorly. Gave him some opportunities to, um, to do what I thought he should be able to do and I don't think he really understood. And then all of a sudden there's new stuff. I mean, he's retrieved these dummies now for a couple days. It's been, th this is the third day. Last night was a very loose game of retrieve. It was just fun. Um, and he did a nice job, and he had friends with him. He had his, my other dogs were with. He had to wait a couple times. He had to, 
he's not perfect on any of that. He's broke a couple times here. He's got so much steadiness in him already. Steadying him up is going to be really easy because uh, he's like 85% there probably. What he's lacking, I think, is this understanding of what am I really supposed to do? I mean, he's doing a lot of things that don't come naturally. He's doing them pretty well, all because of a good foundation. The stuff that's really natural to him, the idea of hunt and retrieve, I don't know that we've really brought it out. I don't know that Mason's brought it out much. Not out of, it's not his inability to do it, I just don't think he has the confidence to do it. I think he's a little nervous about maybe wrecking him in some ways. I think he's paralyzed by that. Um, I think the beauty of this all is, I don't think it's gonna matter. I don't think that's, you know, should he be further at this point? I wish he was. Does it matter? Probably not. Not in, not in another 10 months. Not this, not, probably not by this fall. Like when, when it really matters is going to be this fall. Uh, I think he, our goal is, you know, we'd like to hunt the dog a little bit this, this coming fall. He's going to be, it's March, so April, May, June, July, August, September, October, let's say. It's another seven months. He's going to be 18 months old. He's going to be a year and a half. That's not really that old either. So will he be ready to do it? Probably to a point. I don't know that um, there'll be some things that, no, he's not going to be quite ready for. But is he capable of it? For sure. Um, and it'll take some, some relaying some of this stuff to Mason. And he, Mason's going to come to a workshop with him, and that'll be really beneficial. A lot of that's going to be foundation, but Mason's going to be way ahead of most people in the foundation stuff. So what we'll do is we'll challenge him with a little more, little more um, higher level foundation stuff, you know. Where other people are struggling maybe to get dogs to heal on a lead well, Mason is going to be, I want you working off lead. I want you focusing on keeping his attention longer in more distracting situations. When people are making first retrieves, Mason's going to go in a group that runs doubles, um, maybe runs doubles at greater distances, maybe pushes dogs through cover. That, you know, we're pushing him into the cover and he loves it. The next step, well, let's push him through the cover. Let's get the dummy on the other side and have him go through that barrier and push back through. And so watching him here today puts my mind at ease a lot more at the idea of I got to change my approach to training him. Um, I don't need to treat him like he's a wild, uncontrolled puppy and put a lot of rules because he, he's not there. He, he's much more groomed. He's much more polished. Um, what he doesn't have is the idea of the natural stuff, willingness to just kind of expose itself. So he needs that. So fun session with him today. We, you know, the week's going to go by pretty quick with him, but we're going to just keep pecking away at it, keep pecking away with it. Um, I don't like going too long. I don't know how, what are we at, 25 minutes maybe? 29. 29 minutes, 30 minutes session is plenty, especially knowing that we just did some very nice things. Um, this is a really good example of where I would like to go another 29 minutes. I'd love to just keep piling stuff on them, but I just don't think it's the right move in the, in the big picture. And that's what you have to keep in mind. You have to keep in mind big picture stuff and realize that big picture stuff gets accomplished with lots of little steps. And that's all this is, is just a little step. And it's not even a step because it's just exploring. I look at this as a, a discovery week with him. Where are you? What do, we, what do I think we need to work on? What's, what's our next step? Good boy. Heal. So I, the, the video, the session will continue to my house where I just ask you to heal nicely. Heal under control. And then I'll put you up. Good day. I, this is fun to me. It's fun to me to do things with dogs that, ha, like the little puppy in the backyard is in training right now and just figuring out how to subdue the wild animal in him. He is on the opposite end of the spectrum. He's got a nice year of um, getting to the point where he is right now, and now it's like, how do we bring the wild animal out in you a little bit and maintain control? So. Uh, I like the variance of that. I like the idea of mixing in our little Makina, the pointing dog, and balancing her control to her instincts. And that's very different than, I think, what we're asking retrievers to do. So if you're not, uh, if you're into series, we've got lots of different ones. This is gonna be a relatively short one by the time it's done, but um, dig into more of those because I think you see a lot, lot greater spectrum of variation when it comes to training. And I do think you, you know, whoever, if you're at home watching this and you have a dog, I don't know what your story is, but it's not the same as on any one of my dogs. And so the, his is not the same as any one of my dogs either. So 
I'm just like you. I'm figuring out how to take a lot of information and pick out the parts that work specifically and are needed at certain points with certain dogs. And then from there, we just, we just keep moving fluidly is the way I see it. So appreciate your support.